Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand up as we commit the children ministry before the Lord. I believe that a church that has children has a future. Amen. Yes. This means that after we are long gone, the church will continue. Because whatever we are imparting in these kids, they will continue to carry it even to the next generation. I just want you to stretch forth your hands towards these kids. You don't know the seed of greatness that is in these kids. You don't know what is in their future. But I believe that they are blessed. Amen. Amen. Father, that in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, because you love children. You say that let children come to you. And you say that the kingdom of God belongs to those who will humble themselves like children, oh Lord. We thank you because of the children ministry in this church, dear Father. We thank you because of the testimony that I have had, oh God. That you spoke to one of them and she took up the burden, dear Father. She accepted the calling to be a teacher to these children, dear Lord. Lord. And because of this dear Father, we believe there is no calling without provision and without grace, dear Lord. We pronounce your grace upon Lucy, dear Father, as she teaches these kids, dear Lord. We speak an understanding, dear Lord. We speak a humility, dear Father, that will enable her to go to the level of these kids, dear Lord. And in the name of Jesus, we put a seal of the Holy Spirit upon each and every child in this hall, dear Lord. We declare that they are blessed. We declare that they belong to the kingdom of God. We declare that their destiny is great in Jesus' name. We declare that your purpose concerning them shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. We declare that even in every level of your life, that Lord, they shall be taught of you, O God, and great shall be their peace. We extend this blessing even to their families, O God, their parents, dear your father because they have taken a step of bringing them into their into yes. your house oh god we declare they shall not cry because of these yes. kids these yes. kids shall be a blessing yes. they shall not bring sorrow yes. in the name outfit beyond the makeup beyond what people can see he understands us better because he is our father yes. praise the name of the lord yes. and so when you come into the house of the lord feel free because it is your father's house yes. and there is nothing to hide there is nothing to fake. Amen. So I want you to turn to your neighbor and give him a real smile. Not the fake ones you give people at the elevator there, at the road there. Give your neighbor a real smile and tell him, welcome in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, it only takes 14 muscles to smile. Only 14 muscles, yeah? And it takes 72 muscles to frown. Wale watu wanakana zile sura ambazo wamekunja hivi. They use 72 muscles. So mtu mwenye nakasirikanga kila wakati ya nazeka mapema. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, thank you so much, Chairman, Mr. Jenga. He's the one who made that call and invited me. It was like, in is it in February? And I remember telling him, why don't we plan May? And he said, no, May, come back. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But this is the day it is here. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Sister. They have been following up and making sure that I'm not changing my mind. And thank you so much. Amen. I also want to thank my husband. Just wave to the people. Amen. He brought me, drove all the way. He told me, you're not going to drive that place and then preach. I'll drive you and then you can preach when you're a bit relaxed. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate him. <laughs> Amen. And today is Mother's Day. I appreciate all the mothers. Amen. Amen. The men in the house, let's appreciate the mothers. I say the men in the house. Amen. You better appreciate the mothers and appreciate them well because you also have a mother. Amen. Amen. It is because a woman accepted to take the cost. Amen. Amen. And that's why you're here. Amen. So we honor God for all the mothers. They are a blessing. I want to speak the word of the Lord. Uh, we have read uh, 1 Samuel chapter 5, but I want to read from chapter 4 as I lay the foundation of the word of the Lord today. Chapter 4, I'm going to start from verse 19. And the Bible says, And his daughter in law, Phinehas' wife, was with child near to be delivered. 
And when she heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and travailed for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the women that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As I was seeking the Lord concerning the word for today, I know it's Mother's Day, and when the Lord was giving me this word, I was like, am I not going off, like I'm not relating with the women, praise the name of the Lord. But the Lord spoke to me about this woman who we don't even have a name. She's just called the wife of Phineas. She was Ellie's daughter-in-law, praise the name of the Lord. It was at the time when the Israelites had gone to war with the Philistines and when the battle was so, when the battle became so fierce, they decided we had gone to the battle but we had left the presence of God. We need to send people to go back to 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 the to the temple to get the ark of covenant and bring it to the battlefield maybe by having the ark of covenant we are going to win the battle Amen. they had not gone with the ark in the first place it was an afterthought after the way the battle was like waliona sasa tumeshindwa watu wanaendelea kuwawa afadhali tungebeba mungu Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Ark of Covenant was a symbol of the presence of God among the children of Israel. You remember when they were trying to have a God they can see, they made a calf and God was angry with them. Amen. After the incidents of the calf, God realized that every time the people need something they can connect with, need something they can see. And so he gave Moses the commandment, go and, and the instructions, prepare an ark. This is what it's going to look like. Praise the name of the Lord. The ark was prepared in gold and the instructions that God had said. And there were some things that were put in the ark. Number one, there was a pot of manna that was put in the ark. A pot of manna signifying the provision of God. You know, God provided for the children of Israel for 40 years. So a pot of manna was signifying that he is Jehovah Jireh. He is a God who can provide. He is a God who can sustain them. Amen. And number two, there was the two tablets of stones. The law, the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the law that governs you is what has power over you. Amen. 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 Whatever governs you has power over you. And so they had the two tablets with the Ten Commandments signifying the power of God in the Ark of Covenant. And number three, there was a rod, a rod of Aaron that had banded. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know about that rod of Aaron that had flowers. Amen. It signified the promises of God. And it kept reminding the people of Israel that the promises of God are yes. The promises of God are yes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the Ark of Covenant was a symbol of the presence of God. And now where we have read, it came a time when they went to war and they had the Ark of Covenant with them. The battle became so fierce and the Philistines took away the Ark of Covenant. And there was a man who ran back to Eli and told him, today has not been a good day. Today there is bad news because the ark of the Lord has been taken away and your sons have died. And the Bible says that Eli just fell backward and died. God will remain to be God. Even in the camp of the enemy, he was more powerful. The Bible says that in the morning, when they came, Dagon had fallen on his head. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because God will remain to be God. He 
is not changed by your location. He is not changed by the circumstances. He is not changed by what people are saying. He is not changed by what you are going through. He remains to be God. Amen. And I have come to tell you that if you accept to be a carrier of the presence of God, wherever you walk in, there should be a change. Amen. Everything must bow. They put him in the ark in the in the temple of Dagon. And it was time for God to manifest. I am God. Dagon is not God. And so we don't know what happened. But Dagon, even if he was just a a, a, a an image, he fell down. And the Bible says that the priests came in the morning and they found their God was on the floor. They decided to raise him up. Amen. I don't want a God that I'm going to raise up. I need a God who can act on my behalf. Amen. morning it was even worse Dagon had not only fallen but he didn't have a head he didn't have hands praise the name of the Lord Amen. and more to that God was fighting God was revealing who he is he had started striking the Philistines it was time for them to know that he is all powerful Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Dagon, the God of the Philistines, was an image in the form of man and fish. Dagon did not have like the, the legs we see. Mm -hmm. That's... <laughs> In the tales, long time ago, that's what we used to be told. Praise the name of the Lord. The Philistines believed that. They... Praise the name of the Lord. But I have come with good news today. Because in the days that we are living in, we are not going around carrying the Ark of Covenant. But we are the carriers of the presence of God. Amen. Nowadays, it is not about the golden Ark. It is about you. Tell your neighbor you're the carrier of the presence of God. Amen. Come on, preach to somebody. Tell him or her you are the carrier of the presence of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I have come to tell you that God will remain to be God. Amen. Because the Philistines carried the ark and brought it to the house of their God. To the house of their God named Dagon. Praise the name of the Lord. But I have come to tell you that God will remain to they name they, there's a connection between man and fish and so Dagon was a symbol of man half man and half fish but it was time for God to show up and show them that I am greater than Dagon Amen. praise the name of the Lord Amen. and today I've come to speak to you about being a carrier of the presence of God Wherever they took the Ark of Covenant, God showed up and showed his strength. God is looking for a person. God is looking for a man even today. A person will be willing to say, here I am, O oh Lord. Let your spirit indwell in me. Let your presence dwell in me. And wherever I go, manifest and reveal your power. Amen. It is no time to keep complaining. That is the new lifestyle now. People have taken a lifestyle of complaining. You complain about the system. You complain about the bills. You complain about what? You are the ones who complain. What do you complain about? <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. It has become a life of complaining. There are so many things that have been pushed forward that are not according to the will of God. And now we are doing this. Complain. But God is looking for vessels. God is looking for people who can stand up and say, I am a carrier of the presence of God. Amen. You don't need to be changed by where you are living. Amen. But you should be the agent of change. Amen. You didn't hear that. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You don't need to be changed by where you are living. You say, you know, it's in America. Mm -hmm. America does not need to change you. But you are here to bring change. Amen. Because you are a carrier of the presence of God. Amen. 
You are not here to keep complaining when they sing the song of defeat. The Bible says that he who is in you is greater than him who is in the world. Amen. Let's read another scripture from the book of Jeremiah so that we understand how we are the carriers of the presence of God. In the book of Jeremiah 31, because these are the days that we may become agents of change. We got the most power of God and he indwells in us. Amen. It is time to give solution to the world that is full of problems. Jeremiah 31, I'm going to start from verse 31. And the Bible says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. I want you to say that I will make a new covenant with, put your name there, with the house of, what is your house name? What is your name? Yeah, I want you to read that and put your name there. Behold, the days come, and those days are already here, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. Somebody say new covenant. new covenant. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them. God is saying that he had another covenant, but they broke it. Amen. Amen. Although he was a husband unto them, Meaning it was such an intimate covenant, but they broke it. But now the Lord is saying that the days are coming when I'm going to make a new covenant. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. And will be their God, and they shall be my people. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are not waiting for days to come. The days for the law of the Lord to be written in our inward parts. The days for the law of the Lord to be written in our hearts has already come. Because when Jesus went on the cross, he paid the price. He reconciled us back to God. We became God's children. We are no longer people without a fruit of the Lord dwells in me. Amen. And the Bible says, in those days, everyone shall know. You will not have to work hard telling people, know the Father. Know God. Know you alone. Because even the smallest... To the greatest, they shall know the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says that them that know their God shall be strong and shall do exploits. Ask your neighbor, do you know your Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know me, you can give a testimony about me. Amen? Amen. Is that true? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that is what level we are. The times have come. The days are here when everyone should know God. It is not the time of going to somebody and telling him, pray for me. I confess. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When Jesus went on the cross, the curtain at the temple was broken. Because the temple had a place called the Holy of Holies. A place where only the priest could enter. And it was serious business. The night before the high priest goes to the Holy of Holies, he had elders sit around him all night reading the law to him. Wanam somea, wanam somea, wanam somea. Vile mandiko inasema, mandiko inasema. So that he will not even have a minute for his mind to switch off and think of something evil. That is how serious it was. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And on top of that, before he enters the Holy of Holies, they tied a rope on his ankle. 
and his garments had bells so that when he is giving sacrifices they can hear the bells ringing amen wakisikia kengele zinapiga wanajua mtu wako hai tu mtu wako hai tu wakisikia kengele zimenyamaza they know oh oh he's no longer there and because it is holy of holies even if god strike a high priest and he died nobody could get in there to get him out that's why they had to tie a rope and so what happens if a priest dies the other priest could just pull the rope and pull their dead man praise the name of the lord amen but today the curtain was broken you don't need somebody to go with the ropes and get bells to pray for you and to intercede for you there is a new covenant we belong to the new covenant we have to decide and say we are tired of departed glory we want to see the glory of the lord we want to see the manifestation of the lord we want to come to the level of saying i know my god and the bible says that those that know their god shall do exploits praise the name of the lord amen hallelujah women in the house amen amen, amen. amen. those that know their god they shall do exploits we are living in a time where access is to god is easy we have had we are in the new covenant our sins are forgiven amen. amen we can say we need the glory of god we need the glory of god when the philistines saw the power of god and how much punishment they suffered they say take away the ark of covenant let the god of israel be far from us Hallelujah. Amen. I'll say this in my mother tongue. Kigongona gitongagia ria magitungatagira. Na gigokirira aria magiukagirira. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Gigongona gitongagia ria mekagatia. Magitungatagira. Na gigokirira Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because the Philistines were fighting against God. That is why God rose against them. But because the children of Israel are his own people, he continued blessing them as long as they maintained a relationship with him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that God is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is a God who changes not. I don't know where you stand today, but I feel like I need to be a carrier of the presence of God. I need to be a partaker of the glory of God. Whenever I go, let there be change because the God who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Amen. We are on the winning side. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are on the winning side. Tihinda ria gwikunja ta gukunjurire. Ni tondu thamaki uria twi thaini waguo ti wakohotwo. Uthamaki uyo ni wakohotana. Go before the Lord. Tell him today I want you to be God in my life. I allow you to be God in my life. I allow your law to be written in my heart. I allow your law to be written in my inward parts. When I speak about you Jehovah God, let me speak because I know you. I know you are my father. I know you are my God. Almighty Father, we bless you. We give you praise and we give you honor. We thank you because you are powerful. We thank you because you are almighty and you remain to be God. The gods of Dagon could not withstand you because you are so powerful, dear Father. We also declare in our lives that you are so powerful and anything that has risen above your uh, your priority, oh God. We declare shall bow down in the name of Jesus and you alone shall be exalted. You alone shall be uplifted. Hallelujah. 
And Lord God, I will proclaim that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord.
Oh my God. Tu sois béni au mort de 